Karangware is one of the many poor neighborhoods in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi. Very few houses have running water and many are without electricity. Connecting to the digital world is a true challenge here. Christine Macharia is a new arrival to Karangware. The 19-year-old went to school in the countryside and hopes to find a job here in the capital. She'd like to work in the medical sector, but until recently she didn't know how she could manage to acquire the necessary skills without the financial means. Now there's a new opportunity, the computer bus. It might not look very modern, but for Christine and most of the young people here, it's a magical center of attraction. Christine often comes to learn as much as possible about computers and the internet. Anyone wanting a good job in Kenya must have the skills to make business plans using Excel spreadsheets, to scan, print and surf the web. I'm going to tell my friends to come and see uh, about the bus, about the craft silicon. They're going to inquire more knowledge, just like what I've been, I'm inquiring. And I'm going to also help my friends know about computer. Classes are free and all 32 computers run on solar energy. This power source is likely to pose the biggest challenge to the Craft Silicon Foundation teachers. Nairobi's winters are often overcast. Oh, we face challenges. One of them is uh, because this bus is solar powered, so when there's no sun, that is a challenge. Then probably at times there's no sun and then there's no power, so we don't have a backup. Yeah, that's one of the major challenges that we're facing. The other challenge is to find a place, a convenient place where there's security and still we can reach the students. That was the initiator's so goal. The next blank Her philosophy there. is that classes should go to the students, not the other way around. Most of the students that you've interacted with today cannot even afford bus fare. So we decided to come to their doorstep in their village rather than them going to places where they cannot afford to come. 8,000 young people have already taken their first steps in the digital world. Neighborhoods like Karangware are moving ahead, even if it sometimes seems as if time has stood still here.